Hey everybody, welcome to Brick Vault. Today we have a Lego Batman mock. This is the Batmobile from the animated series with the original design coming from the talented builder Lucas. Right off the bat, I will say that we do sell the instructions for this mock as well as instructions for many other Batmobiles also designed by Lucas. There is a link in the description below to our web store, www.brickvault.toys. And with each purchase comes a PDF file for instructions as well as an XML file, which makes it much easier to order the parts online. Purchasing instructions help support this channel as well as the talented builders that put together these amazing mocks and back into Batman. Now the Batmobile has gone through many, many different iterations throughout its lifetime within the DC universe and particularly with the animated TV series that came out back in 1992. There were a lot of sort of darker undertones to this series and you can see a bit of Tim Burton inspiration for this vehicle. The darker and more noir or serious kind of tone to the show came out within the animation style and that darker tone definitely reflects how the Batmobile's final form looked within the animated series. You can see a few nice curves streaking off the back and the front is rounded over pretty well but for the most part this is a long dark sort of block of a car. This vehicle doesn't necessarily turn heads because of some large flashy spikes sticking out or some glowing blue uh, details, but instead this Batmobile was sort of known for its speed and strength and somewhat stealthiness, which ultimately served a more strategic purpose for Batman and actually grounded the show in kind of a more realistic tone. Well, somewhat at least. Mm. When it comes to the specific features of the vehicle, I guess let's start in the front. This mock has a pretty rounded over nose. It's a straightforward combination of slope pieces that attaches onto the front. And you can see that those great pieces are ever so slightly leaned back on a hinge. All of those clip pieces that you see in gray on either side of the front are supposed to be a bunch of exhausts that uh, come what look like maybe straight from the engine. Gives you an idea of how powerful this car actually was. And then as we move back you can see that that little split that's in the windshield that was just a bit of a cut black sticker piece that we used there is an alternate way of building that too in the instructions if you don't want to use a sticker and you might be able to guess but it's not too hard getting a minifigure to sit inside the vehicle the roof comes off very easily batman sits very deep inside you can see there's a few little control pieces that make up some detailing in there and then when we take a closer look at the back there are two points that stick off the top by the roof another two points that stick off the back behind the wheels and like every Batmobile ever we have this giant jet thruster. One more little thing I'd like to point out very quickly is that the centerpiece actually can open up. It's a little bit of a storage compartment. You could fit a battering in there or maybe a grapple gun or something else and it's just a nice little extra space to have in case your Batman minifigure is holding something in his hand and you want to put them inside the vehicle. All right that is it for this little episode everybody. Once again I do want to say that the instructions are available at our web store www www.brickvault.toys and if you enjoy our content you can always like or subscribe and be sure to check out maybe some other custom mock build videos lucas has a ton of batmobiles more to come and of course we're sort of into star wars too all right all right that's it for this episode everybody thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time at brick vault <laughs>